Good morning dear students and welcome back to your English grammar class. In our previous class we learned that a group of words that forms part of a sentence and has a subject and a predicate of its own is called a clause. We also studied the noun clause. Today we are going to learn about adjective and adverb clause. A clause that functions like an adjective in a sentence is called an adjective clause. For example, the house on the left which belongs to the Kumars is for sale. Here, the words which belongs to the Kumars is an adjective clause as it modifies the noun house. An adjective clause tells us something about the noun. For example, the umbrella which has a broken handle is mine. Here, the words which has a broken handle are the adjective clause and they modify or they tell us about the noun umbrella. An adjective clause begins with a relative pronoun, for example, who, whom, whose, that or which or a relative adverb when, where or why. For example, I went to the place where I could find him. Here, where I could find him is the adjective clause which modifies or qualifies the noun place. An adjective clause answers to the question which or who. For example, the mobile phone which has a blue cover is mine. Here, which has a blue cover is the adjective clause and it answers the question which mobile? The mobile which has a blue cover. Next is adverb clause. A clause that functions like an adverb in a sentence is called an adverb clause. An adverb clause indicates time, place, condition, contrast, concession, reason, purpose or result. For example, when the storm started, she was at the store. Here, the adverb clause of time is when the storm started, talking about the time of the action. Next example, he returned home as it had become dark. Here, the words as it had become dark are the adverb clause and they talk about the reason. Why did she ret he return home? Because it had become dark. Next example, he ran as fast as he could. Here, the words as he could uh, is the adverb clause of comparison. He ran as fast as he could. Next is, she put the bag where no one could reach it. Here, where no one could reach it is the adverb clause and it talks about the place, adverb clause of place. Next is, if it rains, I'll stay indoors. Adverb clause of condition here is, if it rains. There is a condition that if it, if it rains, the person is going to stay indoors. Next is, he wrote so badly that nobody could read the note. Here, adverb clause of result is that the writing was so bad that nobody could read. Nobody could read the note is the adverb clause of result. Now, an adverb clause modifies a verb, a verb phrase, an adjective or another adverb. An adverb clause starts with a subordinating conjunction such as after, although, because, if, until, when, since, then and while. That will be all for today's class. We have completed the clauses and I will see you on the next turn. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning.